Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial on Julia programming, we'll be learning about models and packages in Julia. So, what is a model? A model is just like a top a top level global variable. That is like it allows you to en encapsulate all your codes, your variables, all your functions into one place, one workspace, so that you can have access to them at any time. So, supposing you have several functions that, that do a spe specific tax. And then you want to have access to them at any time, you can just put them into a model. And then you can put all those plate models into a package and then you can use it. Okay, so let's see how to create a model. To create a model, just go with model. That's and then the name of the model. Name of the model. And then to go with your functions, all your functions that you want, all your global variables. And then the last with end must end with end. So let's create a simple model so I can understand what it means by a model. So model, I'm going to create a model called hello model, right? And then it's going to have a function called hello with one argument called the name. So what does this function do? It's going to print my name, print whatever name you supply to it. So it's going to be hello. And then hello right then it's going to go with the name that you supply to it so I'll bring my end for the function and then end for the model so you should make sure that this one is in line with it okay so that is one model I've created so to have access to it as you can just go straight with using model or importing model the difference between importing is that when you use import you have to call for this that is if you have not exported it so let me explain for example if i do import hello model right so i've imported hello model but for me to have access to this hello function i have to first call the name hello model and then use it so if i do like hello and i put the name like let's say jess see it's not going to work it's going to tell me that it's undefined the reason it's undefined is because it's still not seeing it. But in case I do it like this, I do hello model, right? And I put hello, then Jess. So it's going to perfectly work for me. Hello, Jess. So that's the concept about import. So import allows you to use it for quite an instant within a short instant. And but you have to call for the name of the model. But the other way, if you don't want to call for the, mod, the name of the model, there are two ways you can do that. You can first of all export it inside here, or you can use the using. So let's try the using. So if I use using, and then hello model. So this using gives you the chance for you to make it available throughout this workspace. So I go using. So it gives you that sense, the capacity or the ability to have access to all the functions of this model straight away so let's see let's move on so if i want to have access to it i can just go with hello right yes but with this format because i have not exported this function it is still going to give me undefined See, it's undefined but once i export this function export then hello i run it and then i go straight away with just the using without necessarily calling the hello model i can just have access to it so that hello js is being given so that is one of the ways so either you import it straight away and then use the name of it hello model plus your function or you can just export it here and then go straight away without calling the name of the model but in case you don't want to use the export function you can just go straight away with still using the the whole name of hello model dot then hello and let's say bill right so with this it's going to still work for us hello bill so if you don't want to export it and then with this export if you are, if i export it and i use import like this i'll still have to call for the function okay so thank you 
for this short one so let's see some other examples so that you can have more understanding about the concept about the model so i've already created a simple model that we can use so let's try it about plane figures so i have this simple model so you okay, have this simple model which i've copied and pasted so that it's simple so i have a plane figure model i want to have access to all these things it's talking about this triangle circle and then square so these are my functions my function that takes two arguments the base and the height the square takes only one argument and the circle takes the normal one so let me change the circle with the pi let's go to 22 divided by 7 because it is simple okay so this is it so if i run this model so a plane figure model is now available for me to use so because i've exported the can just go straight away with triangle and then using plane figure model so i can just go straight away with a triangle and then the triangle takes two arguments so because these two arguments i can put like 40 and then 30 and then it's going to work perfectly for me so i go like this so that's it has, the base is 40 and the height is this and then that's calculated for me as 0 0.35 if i go with square and I put let's say 50 there, it's going to give me 100. See, that is the concept I want, but in case I go with circle, because I have not exported, even if I put the radius of 45, it's still going to give me undefined because I have not exported it. See, I did not export it as part of these ones. So to solve it, I can just go with plane figure model, plane figure plane figure model right and then circle and then 45 so that's going to perfectly work for me with 6365 so this is a concept about models that is using import and export so you can just create this whole model put inside a, a file and then have access to it as a package thank you for watching if you have any questions or Contributions can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed